Hi guys, so we've got a Dell Precision M7510 here with us. It's a very lovely, um, very solid mobile workstation. So I um, tend to find clients using this for the sort of um, CAD virtual machine and other quite heavy workload. Uh, but I mean, obviously this is 15.6, so um, for them the sort of mobility is also quite important. Ability to dock instantly and sort of also take it with you and equally having something quite powerful when you're on the move. So um, this machine, it will be competing directly against the uh, Lenovo P50 and Deadbook um, 15 G3. And um, you will probably have your own preference in terms of your own brand that has worked quite well. So I'll try not to go into too much of the direct comparison, but we'll just take a look at this machine and more obviously the sort of um, direct change from the predecessor uh, M4800. Um, so in terms of the most obvious difference is the now the CPU is soldered in. So you've got to pick the CPU um, you want um, from the moment you purchase it. And um, in, I think you no longer have the optical drive on the side and um, nor do you still have the VGA port. Uh, but instead you get a very lovely array of um, newer um, ports to so Thunderbolt. This is optional so make sure you um, do have the option if you do think you might need it. Actually you might have to check out and make sure you get the right version. And mini display port, very useful. And HDMI port. So if you do need sort of a, a VGA sort of um, uh, sort of an output, you can always sort of uh, do an adapter, but it's just another thing to carry. And equally for the sort of um, DVD adapter, it's um, USB sort of a DVD, external DVD is quite easy to find. It's 10, 15 pounds, but again, it's just something else to carry. But in exchange, you've got to, now you've got a very nice um, two drive configuration. So now it's an M2 slot plus a 2.5 inch um, drive. So you can have a very fast booting SSD um, anywhere between, you know, up to maybe half a gig or even a terabyte, well, half a terabyte or a terabyte, um, even bigger depending on availability and support. And um, the sort of traditional um, drive is there if you need the storage. And onto the display, so this is a very nice improvement, I think, personally, over the previous generation. And it's just, I think most of the models have IPS display now. This is a standard sort of 4K with 45% um, color gamut. And I think you can have a 72% as well. The next step up is a really nice one, the 4K Ultra HD display. Um, that one has even wider, I think it's 100% full R, um, sRGB um, coverage, uh, but obviously with a full um, HD, well, Ultra HD version of the display, you will lose some battery life, and there might be some sort of scaling issue. Um, you probably have to run 250% DPI scaling. Um, but that's not so much a problem with Windows, it's more sort of with your third-party apps, so that's something to think about. Okay. Let's um, quickly take a look at the design and sort of build quality. So it's um, in terms of the sort of uh, immediate comparison to the predecessor, which uh, was known to be quite heavy and quite uh, metal -y. Um, We've got a older Precision M4600, so that's the, not the most recent one before this. But in terms of the predecessor, we'll sh quick, quickly show you. So we'll gently put it on the lid. So um, it's not symmetrically placed, I'm afraid. Um, but the sort of previous generation is very bulky and sort of lid, if you scratch it, you will notice it, but it's reassuringly solid and things are easy to take apart. There is a disk drive and there is a VGA port, but you don't have any of the new port and you don't have the M2 slot, um, nor the IPS. Well, there is IPS display in the older one um, as well, but um, the new one, it's um, IPS seem to be more available in general. But okay, so focus, focusing on this particular one, Definitely, definitely a more understated design, so very nice if you want to take it to meetings so you don't have to hide it away from the sort of <laughs> colleagues. Um, sort of. And uh, sort of um, edge is um, metal built and um, sort of um, carbon fiber style finish with a sort of metal underneath. Uh, the base is um, oh, just... Um, the base is quite nice and uh, it's um, fun grill etc and that's the um, that's the cover to take off the battery and access the panel you take off this and take off this 
um, uh, take off that to get rid of the sort of uh, to change battery or hard drive and um, M2 is here uh, two of the DDR4 stakes are here. So they're both quite accessible. The other two, um, out of the four DDR4 stakes, um, memory stakes, then the two are sort of two are underneath the keypad. Those are slightly more fiddly to, um, those are slightly more fiddly to change where you have to screw many sort of, um, unscrew many of the sort of um, small, um, bits to get it off, but that that's not so much a problem. You can always uh, sort of uh, follow a YouTube tutorial, get the machine with a minimum RAM spec and upgrade it later. That's obviously fine. We'll take a look at this particular one. So this particular machine is quite powerful. Um, this unit has uh, we um, we loaded it with uh, 64 gig of RAM, so and the Core i7 processor. So it's um, a fairly powerful machine. So for rendering, is quite good. Um, in terms of a CAD workload, um, you probably need 8 gig RAM um, for so solid works to work well, and uh, 10, 20 times of whatever your file size is um, in the sort of uh, memory to keep it in the memory and keep it fast. So two drives, very nice. Um, they should support the 4G as well, but we didn't have the card in this particular unit. So it's um, in terms of um, general performance, it's uh, reassuringly good. Cooling performance is good, so, so you see the sort of turbo boost quite consistently high. So in terms of thermal performance, it's quite similar to the other ThinkPad and um, also the ZBook. So there's very little in between them. Um, it's, so it's more sort of personal preference. Um, in terms of the graphic card, this is something to think about. So this particular code group is uh, similar to consumer GeForce um, 950M, quite similar uh, in hardware, but I mean, obviously the GeForce is better for gaming. This is designed for getting work done in CAD and um, getting the professional ISV software stuff supported. So this is um, good to see. And the upgraded version um, M2000M is available. Um, we'll come back to that. But that has four gig of RAM instead of um, the two gig in the one thousand, so that might be um, the upgraded two thousand M might be useful if you want to run multiple monitors or run slightly heavier workload. Again, I'll come back to that in a second. Um, the other sort of the most obvious change from the predecessor, um, apart from the sort of redesigned body, is um, oh the oh, oh gosh the keyboard. It's um, Looks awfully a lot like the sort of Dell Latitude E7450. The sort of um, it's like the sort of latitudeization effect has occurred to Dell's product line. It's a checklist keypad, backlit, very nice. Um, so travel-wise, it's not bad. Um, it um, takes some getting used to compared to the previous uh, Precision, which had quite. Um, a bit deeper sort of uh, travel, but uh, with a sort of modern day workstation, this is probably among the best you can get. So in terms of uh, getting key uh, business documents, long ones typed in, um, you can always sort of dock it and maybe link it to a sort of external display if you're um, not liking this too much, but I personally don't have any problem with it. And um, let's um, quickly think about the um, other input. So it's... Um, this sort of trackpad, the sort of older thing, uh, older uh, position had a sort of smaller trackpad. So this is definitely more comfortable, and the spacing is more generous um, in terms of the. Um, if you're thinking of using the upper three input keys, so those are very nice. Um, and um, what we'll think about next is um, basically what we'll quickly talk about is. Um, the sort of the key sort of um, things you need to um, perhaps uh, think about when you buy this machine. So one of the things to think about is because the processor is soldered in. So um, we'll, sh we'll show you what we mean. So we've got uh, four sticks of 16 gig of RAM, um, but obviously um, the this is i7, so if you need the sort of ECC memory, you need to go with the Intel Xeon option, and you can't upgrade it after purchase because your processor is sort of onto the motherboard. Um, so I mean, the traditional memory is fine for us. Um, 
it's perfectly fine for us. And um, whereas for some clients, a sort of ECC memory might be more important, in which case, definitely think about the um, Intel Xeon memory. It's a worthwhile investment if um, um, more reliability is something you need. Um, additionally, um, another thing to think about is probably, um, it's probably the warranty, ironically enough. It's um, it's with uh, machines like these, most companies either sort of uh, capex it to three or four years. So you've got three, four years life cycle. It should survive more than that. Um, it's just with high-end components, um, it's good to have warranty. It's just with anything, let's say, anything on the motherboard with this CPU, RAM, well, RAM is easily replaceable, but anything that happens on the motherboard, you probably the cost of replacement, um, if you didn't have long enough coverage of warranty, that's going to be quite a nightmare. Um, so make sure you do think about the sort of warranty, even if it's 10, 15% of the cost of the machine, actually over the time of the ownership, it will be something that perhaps gives you some, some value. Um, okay, so next, um, what we'll think about in addition is screen. Do you think your workload, um, do you think the Full HD is okay or whether you think you might do more 4K? And obviously if you do the 4K, you can always scale it down uh, with the window DPI and um, sort of DPI scaling, that's okay, but you can't scale it up. Um, so one of the safe options is um, just get the 4K and if your app doesn't support it, then um, that would potentially be a problem. But hopefully third party um, app makers could gradually over time get it um, updated. So I mean, it's something to check beforehand before buying the machine. Um, I mean, the other sort of, uh, not necessarily boring, but just kind of risk adverse option is obviously just grab the Full HD. You get the standard um, resolution that has been around for years and you can always link it up to external monitors, 4K monitors. So that would be good. And if you do that, maybe get the video memory upgraded with the sort of M2000M quadru as well. Um, but obviously your battery might take a hit with the even higher end configuration. Okay. Um, in terms of SSD, we'll try not to go too much into it because I think most people will probably either get the standard hard drive version and throw in a sort of SSD yourself, but the sort of SSD bracket might be not might not be included. So that's something. It's not a massive problem. You just need to find the correct screw to screw them in. Um, but if you can find the sort of a good configuration with the sort of um, SSD. Um, that would be great from day one because that way Dell covers you as well. But in down the road, you can always sort of get something fast SSD, the NVMe ones, for instance, the Samsung 8, um, well, 960 Pro, that would be great. Um, and in terms of the other thing that I can think of, um, uh, it's the Thunderbolt port. Um, it's very strange that they made this uh, sort of an um, optional feature. Um, so on some models, even the sort of i7 ones, they might not have it by standard. So make sure if you do get this laptop, you do if you need this port, um, if you know what it is, or if you do need it, or think you need it, make sure that <laughs> you pick the correct model. It's very surprising that they make something like this sort of optional. And um, in terms of um, other things, things to think about. It's um, get a good case when you um, get this laptop. So um, as I said, the sort of um, the first sign of usage, even if you take care of it well, will be the sort of the keypad and sort of the buttons and the palm rest will probably have some marks after 18 months. Um, then it's a sort of edge of the metal edge of the laptop um, if you don't have a case and also the lid and the base you would expect some normal wear and marks that's perfectly sort of fine the sort of a normal wear and marks etc um, but obviously if you have a case it reduces wear um, in the sort of main difference in the new coating is it does attract some sort of fingerprint so you have to sort of get the sort of particular sort of white liquid to sort of wipe it but it's a uh, it, uh, I imagine it absorbs some of the sort of smaller micro scratches quite sm um, harder to see. Um, so it's not as big a problem. And obviously if you do find that this particular model might be a bit heavier for you, for instance, this one is about 100 gram 
heavier than its competitors and sort of similar size. It's right in the middle in terms of size between P50 and the ZBook. Um, if you're thinking of something lighter, um, what you might think of is the other sort of um, option, um, which is um, the Dell Precision um, 5000 series. So 5510, that also has quadrographics. graphics. It's basically a sort of XPS 15 um, 9550 but with the quadro graphics, so it's a consumer product. So it's great for meetings, uh, a bit less, uh, well, it's a bit more glassy if you opt for the 4K panel. So it's less sort of um, ragged as this one is, which is this one you can take to a sort of building site and you're sort of okay, the sort of hinge is very solid, whereas I would not um, dream of taking that um, to a building site, it's just, it's 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 very elegant hardware. You don't want to use it in the sort of um, places where the sort of uh, you constantly might drop things. Um, okay, I think um, that um, just about wraps it up. And um, also, in terms of uh, one last thing before we mention the sort of speaker quality is actually not bad. The sort of placement is strange. It fires sort of downwards. Two speakers are sort of um, far downwards, but it's um, the audio quality is okay for a sort of business laptop, and obviously you can always get headphones, etc. Um, I hope this um, video is quite helpful in terms of looking at this machine just on a very quick um, browse. And um, if there's any particular question, we'll be happy to sort of give you a shot. Um, if you're thinking of uh, buying something like this, or if you um, are not quite sure about a particular workload, just give us a message. We'll be happy to um, help. Thanks. Bye.